In this video, we're going to take a look at the multi-window. And the multi-window is, I believe, an underutilized utility in Bible Analyzer, which we really beefed up in version 5 to really make, give it a lot of potential for being a uh, gathering place for all your study material for any study that you may encounter or, or venture upon. So we'll take a look at it here. It said this tab in the big uh, toolbar up the top, you have a multi-window tab. It's also the AB Strong Index. And there's a little description of it there. But let's say we want to do a study for a word. Let's say we just a, a word uh, grace. We'll type in the word grace here, first of all. And that brings up our strong index. And it shows uh, all of the words, the original words, Hebrew and Greek, that grace is translated from. And so they're all there. So there's one thing we have in our multi-window. And we can hide it if we want to get it out of the way. Now let's say we want to search it's just do a type in grace in the quick entry up there. We'll do a search for grace. And you'll notice that here we have our search results for grace. And we like those. We say we might want to look at those later. So we can put those into the multi-window. It's just click export page to multi-window. We've done that. There it is. Also, there is a verse list that we can export the entire verse list in a different format to the multi-window. Notice here, we'll just click here, gives us the option, we'll export it. And there's all the verses that have mercy in them in a different format, if that comes in handy. Also, there's a word list. Now, uh, this word list also is, I believe, underutilized by people. But when you click the word list, what it does is it takes all the search results here and then sorts them into a word list and gives you really the words that are most associated with grace. Now, the 120 most common words like the and 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 all those are removed. And so that leaves us other Bible words that are most closely associated with grace. And you'll see that there's grace there, then God and unto. And then we have Father and sight and peace. So these words are all the closest associated words in the Bible to the word grace. And that is something that uh, may come in handy. Let's hide this for a second. Now, let's say we want to do... We want to look up grace in our dictionaries. Well, let's just click the word grace. And that makes it our current word down here. It's grace. And here's a new little button in the dictionary toolbar. It shows a, it says show a preview of dictionaries if the current word or topic. So we click that. And what it does, it exports to the Bible window that all the titles that have the uh, topic of grace. And then there's a preview. We just uh, put our cursor over each one of the titles, and then we can look at that and say, well, maybe that's something we want. Maybe that's something we want to look at. Say, for instance, here is Webster's Dictionary, 1828. We want to look at that one. We click that. It will come up over here. There's the definition of grace. You say, I, I want that. We'll just export it to the multi-window. And let's uh, say we go into the multi-window window menu. We can go back to the other one and say, maybe here's another definition. I like, I like that definition, Poor Man's Dictionary. I want to examine it more, so we'll just export it to the multi-window. Now, let's go back to our search results and grace. One of the, the key verses with grace is in Ephesians. Ephesians 2.8. We click Ephesians 2.8 and make it the current reference down here. That keys all of the commentaries, and it has the same thing. It has a preview. Here's all the commentaries that have Ephesians 2.8, a uh, entry for that. And they say, well, there, if there's one of these that we like, let's say, well, there's one. I want to look at that one. We'll click it. It will come up over here. And if you like it, uh, you can export it. If not, you can try another one. Here's understanding the Bible. You look at this. That looks interesting. So I'll export that one to the multi-window. You can also go this way, the normal way, and select it, the, uh, you know, things about the, the different commentaries that have the topic of grace and click those. Let's say, for instance, you want to do some more searching. Say, for instance, we want to search some of our libraries. We'll go to our library search, and we can select either dictionary, commentary, or book, or article. We can, let's try the book or articles. And we can go over here. We can select the ones we want. Let's just check all of them. This, of course, is new in version 5, too. That way, we'll just check. Let's just search them all. We'll click Done there. We'll type in Grace here. And it's searching all of them right there. It just takes a couple seconds. And there they are. We can scroll down through there and uh, say there may be something here that looks interesting. We'll uh, click one of them. 
And here's great doctrines of the Bible. Grace is found in these entries. This try salvation. We click that, and there's our grace is found. And we say, this, this looks like something I might want to consider, so we'll just export that to the multi-window. And also, it will keep the hits, the highlighted hits as well. And you can go back. You can hide that. You can go back and select other ones. You could search dictionaries or commentaries and so forth, and you can find other ones to do that. But you're getting the idea. You're getting the idea of what we can do with this now. So we'll hide this. And now, let's just open the multi-window up. First of all, let's set. Uh, let's go to SPAD. Say we're wanting to put together a message. Well, let's uh, click the new button. We'll open the multi-window up. We'll, we'll check the menu here. First of all, we need a definition. Here's Webster's 1828. Let's say, well, here's the definition of grace. I like this one right here. We'll just export this to the multi-window, or I mean to the SPAD. There's the definition. Say that there is a verse that we like. We, uh, the, one of the first things we done was we did a search. Here's a advanced search for grace. And you'll notice these, these, all these links still work in the multi-window. You'll notice you have, here's your, your links and so forth. And say that, uh, let's go back to that Ephesians verse again. We'll just go to Ephesians 2.8 and say, I like that verse. So we'll just right click on it. We'll export that verse to the multi-window from, you know, to scripture pad from the multi-window. Let's say that uh, there's something else here. We want to take a look at uh, Strong's Index, and there's a word there we like. Uh, we like uh, one of these Hebrew or Greek words. Here's a Greek word, and here's Strong's definition of cheris. We like that. We'll just export that, the scripture pad. You see, you know, what you, then you can type in and you can format this however you want it. You're putting it together, your message. You type in your notes. Also in scripture pad, we have the new feature of bullets. And if you want to undo the bullets, actually it's not a new feature. It's in the earlier versions. It just wasn't up here on the toolbar. You can go back here. And now, say, for instance, you decide uh, that you don't have enough time right now and you, you need to do this later. Well, let's go to the Manage button, a new Manage button. And you can save this entire list of pages. And this is very powerful. We've received requests to be able to save search results and to save other features of Bible Analyzer and then load them back up. Well, now you can do that. It's just all these pages. You can uh, select them for different things. If there's certain, certain ones you want to delete, just check the ones you want to delete. Hit delete. If you want to merge some of them together, we've had requests for that. Click these buttons. Just click the merge. And, you'll, and it will make a new page. From the merged pages. If you want to copy them, you just click certain ones and it will copy them, merge them and copy them in, in the clipboard. And also here's another powerful feature first. We'll look at this first. It's a find. Let's type in a word. Let's type in peace. We'll do a search for peace. And now anywhere the word peace may be found in any of these entries, it will show up. And we'll try to find one that has it. Maybe not all of them do, and maybe it's not found in all these entries. But let's see if we can find the word peace in here somewhere. Well, it's not there. Anyway, let's try the word faith. We know faith there. Let's go to Mandy. Let's go to find. Let's go click faith. Do the search. Let's go back to the UTB. And there, it's kind of hard to see, but it is highlighted. It's, it's, it's in a blue highlighting, and it's in bold. If we can find another one, we can find any faith in here. But you get the idea. It will search all of the entries for that word, and it will search all of them right here. There's faith. It's highlighted. It searched all the pages in history for our term, whatever we enter. And it will highlight it and show us there. And also, there's faithful. And then we can go back and use that. But now, say, for instance, you need to save this for later. Just click the Save button. We'll just type in, say, this one is uh, Grace. Hit Save, and there you are. And if you want to load it back, you can close that. You can load it back, and there it is, Grace. Here's the one I did earlier, Mercy. Here, we just loaded Mercy. Now, look. Here's all the pages I saved for mercy. You know, topical Bible for mercy. Here's all the pages I saved uh, the search for mercy. 
then say, well, you could go back and say you're doing grace and searching for grace and mercy. You can do you some grace, and then you say, well, I, I want some mercy pages. We'll go here and say, I like, I want to put this in my grace uh, message. Click that, and there it is. And then say, now I want to go back to my uh, grace study. We'll go back, click grace, and here they are again, all the same ones that we just exported earlier. So as you can see, this is a quite powerful feature. And it's, it's a repository for all the pages that you want to save. And then this leaves the rest of the, your pages, your commentaries, dictionaries, results, and even the Bible. You can save them. You can be doing other things with them. And in the multi-window, still have all the, the pages that you want to assemble together for whatever topical study or whatever study you're doing at the time. So we hope that this is more utilized by people, and maybe with this video, people will realize just uh, how much it will help them in their studies. Thank you.